Hello and welcome to the Windows installation video for Kyocera print drivers. In this installation video we will be describing how to install the Windows print driver for Kyocera. My operating system that I'm using in this video is Windows 10, but this video should be able to assist people running other Windows operating systems. The first thing you need to do is open up your favorite browser. and search for Kyocera Document Solutions America. You want to navigate to the Download Center once you're at the main site. Make sure it's Kyocera Document Solutions America. Select your product category. If you have a newer machine, it will be considered a color copy or a black and white copier or printer. If you have an older machine, it will be found in the Legacy section. In this video, we'll be installing the print driver for the new Kyocera Task Alpha 406 CI. Then select print drivers. Always download the newest release of the KX print driver. Make sure it is the 32 and 64 bit compliant. To save time, I've already downloaded this driver. I've downloaded it to my desktop. Next, we'll extract this. Right click on it and left click Extract All. This is going to extract to my desktop to a folder called This. Now the folder, now that the folder is extracted, it's on your desktop. Double click the folder, double click it again. We want to run the setup.exe. Double click. If you're unallowed, if you're not allowed to install applications due to restrictions of your login credentials, you'll want to speak with your system administrator about this. Next, we will hit accept. Okay. And then click on express install. I have many different Kyoceras on my network, as you can see. But the one I'm interested in is the Task Alpha 406 CI with the IP address 192.168.1.70. This number can be found on a status page when you print it from the MFP itself. I'm going to check Use Hostname as Port Name, and I'm going to uncheck the Status Monitor. And then I'm going to click Install. Once finished, I'm going to click Print Test Page, and I'm going to uncheck Set Duplex as Default, because I do not want all prints to come out as duplex. Next, hit Finish, and Close. The print driver is now installed. Next, we're going to define some defaults. We want to access the Control Panel, and then go to Devices and Printers. This can take a long time to load on certain Windows 10 operating systems. Now that the window is populated, you can see that your operating system has already set the new printer as your default printer. If you don't want it to be, you can right click another one and set as default. We now want to right click on the device and go to printer properties. Then go to device settings and click auto configure. Auto configure now. This automatically configures your new print driver with any accessories that your machine may have. Our machine does not have any accessories, so nothing else populates. Next, we go to Advanced, and we set the printing defaults. These are the defaults that your print driver will use when you print. We typically set it to black and white, media type plain, and hit OK. We want to make sure that the, that is carried over into preferences as well. Now hit OK. Next, click the ports and configure port. Make sure that this box is not checked and hit OK and close. 
Your print driver is now installed successfully and defaulted to black and white. Thank you for watching.